Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's Cohen back here again today with another video. Thunder fans are kind of freaking out. Um, they're kind of having a meltdown because the Oklahoma City Thunder are winning basketball games. And that's not something that a lot of people, the national media especially, expected them to do at this point in the season. Right now, they're on a three-game winning streak with the potential to push it to four with the game against the Kings tonight, a very winnable game, I would think, at home in Oklahoma City. Uh, a couple of the wins have come against some pretty solid teams. So, People are freaking out. They're thinking the Thunder are too good to tank. We're going to ruin our draft pick. There's some people saying that because of this three game win streak that we're on right now, we're going to be stuck in decades of mediocrity like the Sacramento Kings or something like that. Calm down. It's not that crazy. Uh, I'm going to talk about in this video why I don't think the Thunder are too good to tank like some people have said, uh, a little bit about why some people think they might be, and kind of just go over why I'm not freaking out because people have asked me, are you freaking out? Are you rooting for wins, rooting for losses? What do you, What's kind of your mindset in this whole tanking thing? Because it's new to a lot of Thunder fans. So I'm going to go through all of that in this video, but I do want to start off by thanking the sponsor of today's video, Prize Picks. If you don't know what Prize Picks is, they're a daily fantasy sports app where you go in and you pick a couple, um, you pick a couple stats that you think players are going to either go over or under in. So for example, say for tonight's game against the Sacramento Kings, Prize Picks thinks that Shea Gilgis Alexander will score right around 22 and a half points. You can make a prediction whether you think he's going to have more or less than that total. Put a few of those predictions together, whether it's predicting like three pointers for like Jason Tatum tonight or something like that. You can put, you can mix and match different players, different bets, whether it's points, rebounds, assists, threes, you name it. And you can bet on these, um, bet them all in kind of like all or nothing. Either you get them all right or you miss one of them and you don't get the money. Or you can do like this flex play where you, if you get a few of them right, you get a little bit of money, but if you get more of them right, then you get a lot more. So there's kind of different options to it. It's really fun. Um, it's a cool game and uh, a special offer. If you use code cone, uh, C-O-N-E, I'll flash you on the screen right now, or use the link in the description below when you sign up for prize picks, they will match your first deposit up to $100. So say you go in and you put $100 in on your first deposit, they will also add an extra $100 to your account for you to use on the app. So that's pretty cool. So go ahead and check out that link in the description below or use the code cone, like I said, and shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. So going into it, why do people think the Thunder are too good to tank? Uh, you might look at our roster and go, mm, y'all could lose basketball games. So let's go over it. Like I said, the Thunder are currently on a three game win streak. Um, that is probably a bigger win streak than pretty much anyone thought we might have over the course of this season. People really expected this team to be awful, and I never thought we were going to be that bad. Um, I made a predictions video going into the season, and I predicted us to be the 13th seed in the Western Conference above the Rockets and the Spurs. Um, and the Thunder so far right now are on the verge of the playing tournament. If the season ended today, they're right there on the cusp, right behind the Portland Trailblazers. I believe they're at the 11 seed right now. So they're like right, right there. Um, there were even like some takes when the Thunder started off 0-4, where they were like, oh, the Thunder could legitimately go 0-82 this season. Like people didn't watch Shea Gilgis Alexander play and realize how good he was. In addition, we had multiple massive blowouts, like losing by 30 to like the Rockets. At the start of the season, um, losing big our first few games, that kind of got people thinking, wow, we're, we're not just going to be bad, like we're going to be god awful. And I think now that the Thunder are winning games, people are kind of freaking out like, oh my gosh, uh, we're kind of just kind of going back to like the average. We're uh, going back to the mean. We were never going to get blown up by 30 every single game. It's just not going to happen in the NBA. No team is that bad unless you're like the Bobcats like a decade ago, it's not going to happen. And those first few huge blots were before Shea was really found his rhythm. He started off really poorly to start the season. He wasn't hitting his shots. There were people freaking out that Shea Gilgis Alexander's jumper was broken, people calling him a fraud and stuff like that. So now that he's kind of corrected things, the Thunder are winning a lot more games because Shea is an amazing player. And it's like people didn't watch how good Shea was last season. And finally, we were kind of competitive in some games that we might have not won, uh, losing by only like eight to the Warriors, barely losing to the Los Angeles Clippers, which is a game if we had won, we'd be on a four game win streak right now. So people are kind of freaking out because of this multitude of things like, what happened? Are we not going to tank? Are we going to make the play-in tournament? What's going to happen? Now, why am I not freaking out? It's because the start of the season is really, really weird. Right now, if the season ended today, we would have some really strange placements. Uh, if the season ended today, the Wizards would be the one seed in the Eastern Conference. The Bucks would be in the playing tournament. They'd be the nine seed. You'd have a team like the Atlanta Hawks at the 13 seed, a team that just made the conference finals. Um, what are some other examples? The Portland Trailblazers would miss. Um, you would have the, the Pelicans would have the number one overall pick. The start of the season is really, really weird. 
you can't trust the results you see in the start of the season and like bring those out over the course of a full year because like I mentioned with Shea, it takes players time to find the rhythm. We're seeing with Damian Lillard, who's been really bad so far, or bad by his standards to start this season. That's not going to persist over the course of the whole year. The Thunder aren't going to be battling with the Trailblazers for tank position. It's just not going to happen. Also, our wins featured some teams without some of their best players, which is also something that comes from the start of the season. Zion Williamson is still nursing an injury. We beat the Pelicans. Um, Brandon Ingram also did not play in that game. And even then, it was still kind of close. If those two played, we probably would have gotten blown out. Uh, you talk about the Lakers wins coming back from down um, over 20 points in one of them and down by a right around 20 in the other one. The Thunder playing without playing the Lakers without LeBron James. The Lakers are still good even without LeBron James, but he is, of course, a top five player. And so he's a big piece to that team. So those wins, while they are like big wins for this team, they're nothing too crazy. Like if we were actually like a good like playoff team, that wouldn't be that big of a deal to get that win. Um... I, like I mentioned, I also expected us to be better than the teams that were kind of, a few of the teams that were kind of ahead of currently. For example, like I said, the Spurs and the Rockets, I expected us to be better than them because Shea Gilgis Alexander is just the best player amongst all the tanking teams. When we look at teams that are tanking, I look at the Spurs, the Rockets, us, the Pistons, and the Magic as kind of like the main five teams that are tanking. On those five rosters, there is no player out of any of those teams that comes close to the player that SGA is. You also talk about like Josh Giddy, who is showing out so far. Uh, Darius Baisley, who's had a couple good games. Dort, of course, always plays great defense. And last game, his offense really came alive. Uh, you can talk about Derek Favors, who has had a decent start to his season. Mike Muscala, who's been a beast off the bench. Guys are playing well, and that's cool to see. And that's part of why I'm not freaking out. I know losses are going to come. We are a young team. Losses are going to come over the course of the season. We have a really, really tough schedule. I believe when I looked at it, we had like the hardest schedule in the whole NBA based on like when we play teams, um, kind of like where we play them, like whether it's home, away, stuff like that. We had the hardest schedule. And so this team is going to lose games. So I'm kind of just enjoying the wins. Uh, like whenever I get excited about a win, whenever I post about it, there are like five people who are like, why are you excited that we won this game? It's going to hurt our draft pick. Losses are going to come. The, some of the teams below us, like, for example, the New Orleans Pelicans, when they get Zion and Brandon Ingram back, assuming they do, they are not going to be below us. They are going to be far better than what their record indicates right now at 1-11. They're just not that bad of a team when their guys are healthy. Um, you talk about a team like the Minnesota Timberwolves, who I think are much more talented than our roster right now, but are below us at the moment. When they kind of figure things out, they're going to eventually pass us. We're going to be fine. We're, we might not have the number one overall pick. I didn't expect us to get that coming into the season. I didn't think we were going to be this awful, awful team, but we will still be like a top five pick team. We're not, we're not going to make the playing tournament. I don't expect it to happen. And it's fun when we get these wins. Uh, I'm going to continue to celebrate them because th it's the young guys doing it. This whole roster is young guys. And so whenever we get a win, it has to come from the young guys. Unless like Mike Muscala goes out and drops 50 in a game and wins it for us single-handedly. Shea's been having some good games. He's had some big moments. He's getting national media recognition. Josh Giddy has been surprising for a lot of people. He's been phenomenal from what we've seen so far. Uh, Darius Baisley, like I mentioned, has had some good games. The young guys are winning us games. But we're going to reach a point where we play some really, really tough teams. And I can promise you, we're going to lose a lot of games coming up, especially. When we look at our schedule coming up, we have the Kings tonight. Then we have the Nets, the Heat, uh, the Rockets. That's a winnable game. But then the Bucks, the Celtics, the Hawks, the Jazz, the Wizards, who are currently on top of the Eastern Conference. Play the Rockets a couple more times than the Grizzlies. Like, we've got some really tough, we've got a really tough stretch of schedule coming up. The wins that we've gotten have been against teams that are without some of their best players. Um, it's, we're not too good to tank. We're just not. Um, and the Thunder are going to figure it out. People are freaking out about uh, our inability to tank. It's going to be okay. We're going to lose games. And so just kind of enjoy the wins. Uh, enjoy when we get to see these young guys show out and play well. Um, the Thunder aren't going to make the playoffs. It's not It's not going to happen. If you're one of those people freaking out, thinking, oh, we're going to make the play-in tournament. We're going to screw ourselves over. Calm down. Uh, we had the same thing that happened last season. Like people didn't learn from last year. Last season, the Thunder were like a play-in tournament team or like right around there around the All-Star break. And then we come out and we lose like 20 straight games um, in the second half of the season. And we end up getting the six overall pick. But we were right there in like the top five lottery odds. If we had lost against the Clippers that last game of the season, we would have been tied for like the third best odds. And we started the, the first half of the season as a play-in tournament team. 
the Thunder aren't too good to tank, it's going to be okay. So don't freak out if you're a Thunder fan freaking out about the tank. Whether or not we're going to ruin our draft pick, don't freak out. It's going to be okay. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on tanking and this Thunder team in general. I'm curious to hear what y'all have to say. I appreciate you watching. I will see y'all later. Real one, stay back.